Hey math kids, today we're going to uh, compare functions to other func or functions in different notations and uh, this is section 2.bc. So we're going to start with f of x is equal to this and then we'll have, let's see, do time and we'll call this one g of x. We have negative negative one, zero, one, two, three, four. And then we'll have seven, one, negative three, negative five, negative five, negative three. And then we'll also have a graph. And we'll call this one h of x. And we'll just do something like that. And I guess I need tick marks on this. OK, so we have these three functions. One's written just as an equation, one's written as a graph, and one's written as a table. And um, we want to know which one has a greater average rate of change over the interval. So greater average rate of change on the interval from 0 to 1. So in the different notations, we're going to do it differently. So if I do 0 to 1, i got to find I consider this my x1, my y1. If I'm looking here, I plug in a 0 for all of these. This goes away, this goes away. I'm just left with 1. So my, whoops, I messed up. This is x2. So my y1 is going to be 1. Now if I plug in a 1 for these, I get 1 squared, which is 1. I get negative 5, positive 1 and that becomes a negative 3. So y2 equals negative 3. And if I do the average rate of change of that, I do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So that's negative 4 over 1, or negative 4. So the average rate of change on that is negative 4. If I go here, um, it's a little bit easier. So I want to go from 0 to 1. So I only care about these values. So these would be the y values. These would be the x values. And so I'm going to say negative 3 minus 1 over 0 minus 1. And that ends up being the same thing, negative 4. Then if we come over here to the graph, we go from 0 to 1 right here. It's uh, hard to see, but it's going to be just from here to here. And so I want to go up to the function and then to the function right there. And we see um, that's, that's going to be really hard. So it's here to here. So we go down one, right one, negative one over one, which is negative one. And that would be the answer for that one. And so the greatest slope, or in this case, I want to know which one is the steepest. It would be tied between f of x and g of x. OK? Um, it's going to ask other key features. So we can also talk about um, which ones have relative minimums, which ones have relative maximums. So if we were to graph this, because the leading coefficient is positive, it's going to be a right side up parabola. And so this would be a case where we have a minima. This one is actually the same thing as this one. So it would, once again, because we start high, we go low, and then we start to come back up. So 7 drops to 1. So it's like this. We're dropping, dropping, dropping. But then we start to come back up. So once again, this would be a minima. 
And then this one, it's pretty obvious. We go down, come back up. That is also a minima. Um, that's about it. Um, if you need additional help, please come to Math Lab. And until then, calculate.